I'm going to pass Tom the mic so he can explain to you exactly what that was all about, Tom. Thanks very much, David. Hi, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, this is the McMurtry Spearling. It's a pure electric race car. Um, the noise that you just heard is a fan-powered downforce system, so it's got more than 80 horsepower of fans on board. Uh, and that is to enable us to have a car that is, uh, is incredibly low uh, drag on the top body. So it's, a, it's a, a really sort of neutral form on the top, but it's got a, a fan-powered uh, downforce system underneath, which gives us more than 500 kilos of downforce from zero miles per hour. Uh, it's also enabled us to do some, a car that's rear-wheel drive only, but it's a thousand horsepower per tonne. So it's an electric single-seater, closed cockpit, uh, closed wheel car, uh, but it delivers a huge amount of power and it weighs under a tonne. Um, so it's a super exciting thing to drive. Uh, Derek Bell is our, our sort of primary development driver, hence us uh, being here as part of the collection, which is we, we're very grateful for. And, and, and somewhere around, yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, we, we, with this car, we've really tried to uh, move the game forward in terms of electric racing. Um, we're hoping to uh, bring this car to the racetrack uh, as part of a race series in the not too distant future. Um, and it's a super exciting time. So I really hope you like the noise. Um, as David kindly said, we, we believe we're the loudest electric car ever made at this point. Um, and it's been, it's been super exciting to deliver something that's uh, just so different. Thank you, Tom. Cheers. So now back to the stage. Um, you'll have all heard about the electric Porsche from Everati. I don't always like to just say, here's a new car, this is the power, this is the top speed, etc., etc. So I'm going to introduce you to Justin Lumley. Ju Justin is the man behind the brand. and. Justin, tell us the inspiration about, about this car. What made you build this? Hey, good morning. Um, yeah, thank you. So my, uh, my background is technology. Always, always love cars. Um, always been into Porsches, amongst other things. And um, looking at the world today, you know, we, we all know we have to go and do our bit for clean air, sustainability and everything else. And um, this is our way of doing it in a really fun and engaging way. Um, I happen to have young children, um, one of which is an 11-year-old daughter who really worries about climate change. And um, in some small way, this is my bit to do something about that. Tell me about that, Mike. Mike, there you go. With the car, Justin, basically you've created it so that it's transferable, haven't you? So you explain. Yeah, absolutely right. So, you know, the, the most important thing about cars is the car. We, we don't want to we don't want to ruin the car. Uh, we go right the way back to the chassis, as as any good restorer would do. Um, it is uh, is then treated really as essentially as a nut and bolt restoration. Um, but everything we do is reversible as well. So, technically, somebody could have the the motor for this car in a beautiful Perspex glass box in their in their office in their kitchen. Frankly, ladies, if you wanted want it to be, um, and it would be fully reversible. And of course, if you go to sell the car, it's then still matching. The numbers. Perfect. And just on to the numbers, power, speed, etc. Tell us about the performance. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't hang about. So this is 500 horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque, uh, about 3.8 seconds to 60, around 180 mile range, uh, really usable, very analog, surprisingly analog for, for an EV. So the steering is, is virtually identical to the original. The weight actually on this car is lighter than the original, which again uh, makes people's eyebrows go up and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. And makes a great sound as well, doesn't it? It, it does indeed. I mean, we can, uh, we can play with that as well and we can, um, we can switch it off and then drive away if we wish. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Justin. All right, thank you. Completely the opposite end of the scale. This uh, Clive Sutton, many of you will know Clive, one of the most reputable uh, dealers in the UK. This is Clive's son, Luke. With a very specially tuned Mustang. Luke, tell us about this car. Hi there, so yeah, this is the CS850 GT, 847 brake horsepower, built on the right-hand drive UK-supplied Mustang. Um, on top of the power, it's got the full um, Shelby GT500-inspired carbon fibre kit, which closer to the whole front end, um, bonnet, um, front fenders, 
all of the carbon rear skirting and the very large carbon track vac um, carbon fiber spoiler on the rear. Um, on top of that, we've done a full suspension upgrade, um, full interior refit and retrim to the parcel shelf, seats, um, and the headlining. Um, and yeah, it's um, one of our most powerful Mustangs we've ever produced. And on the stand as well, tell everyone about the, uh, the taxi there. It's not for you to go home in, ladies and gentlemen, right away. But tell us about that very special taxi, Luke. Yeah, so the taxi is a very, very unique build. It's got a full VIP interior conversion, um, Wi-Fi, Apple TV, um, full um, retrim with Bentley Napa leather. Um, very, very special, must see, so come down and have a look at it. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Obviously, is an iconic car, Twisted, um, very much an iconic brand, Twisted, Yorkshire-based brand. Mars is here to tell us about this car um, and just exactly what Twisted do to make these cars so special. So this is the uh, Twisted Defender 130. Uh, it's the defined range, it's the biggest and most practical Defender on the market. Um, this one, unlike the original, fully soundproof, carpeted, uh, full leather interior, touchscreen, upgraded sound system, and really it's just the best sort of all-rounder vehicle that you can find on the market. And these come complete with personalised gun cabinets and, and hand-built build sports kits, don't they? Yes, yeah, so uh, most recently we had uh, custom gun cabinets, we fit fridges into these as well. Uh, anything really that you want, we can do. It's an absolute comfort in the most uh, hardest places to get to. Exactly. We... And also on the stand, uh, Charles has ventured into, he loves boats doesn't he, so he's ventured into, into the marine sector now. Tell us about the rib there on the, on the stand. So we've, uh, we've got an 8.7 metre rib with twin Mercury engine, 450 horsepower. Um, so it's the first one, it's R001, and we are planning on doing three different sizes of ribs, all based down in Solcombe with Cobra. Brilliant, thank you. Cheers, Miles. And now, so now the Porsche taken. So many cars obviously on the lawn uh, these days are, are electric vehicles. Um, the Porsche here, range of over 300 miles, 0 to 6 in just over 5 seconds. Um, Joel, tell us a bit about the Taken, please. Good morning. Um, yes, obviously, uh, zero emissions, um, top speed of 143 miles an hour. Uh, the entry level car with performance battery plus uh, produces 380 PS, um, so blistering performance. Um, we've just no compromise really which is the, the beauty of the car but it's currently our uh, best-selling model at the moment perfect how many how many variants of the of, of this model are um, so we've got three uh, currently uh, well there's four if you include turbo s but we've just released this it's the new uh, rear wheel drive option right uh, starts at just over seventy thousand, um but it can range up to one hundred and fifty thousand on turbo s sure and that's what that's 700 odd brake it is yeah equivalent so it's it, it's almost too much it, it, it the way the power is delivered is just uh, you, your body doesn't cope with that. Sure. So it's, it's blistering. So. Sure. And and elsewhere on the on the the other cars on the stand, there's a beautiful cabriolet there, turbo cabriolet. Turbo S. Yep. So yeah. um, it's nice to have something that you know we don't see many of. Um, so uh, turbo S cabriolet. Uh, you know, sort of not to sixty in two and a half seconds. Mm -hmm. um, so that's our sort of flagship model. Fast enough. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, especially when the, the Porsche motto is that they stop in half a time. Right. Back to naught. So yeah, that's that's, that's pretty. Yes. And also, interestingly for you as well, we launched Salon Privé Time this year, the Luxury Watch Fair. Yes. So we have a number of different watch brands in there that have uh, sort of uh, strategic associations with brands on the lawn. But you, Porsche, have your own Porsche brand, Porsche Design, don't you? We do, yeah, Swiss timepiece. Uh, we've got a stand uh, separate. We do have a, um, a uh, watch on our stand, so feel free to come over, have a look, and we can show you what it's all about. But you can sort of really customize them to have things like uh, the face of the yellow wheel that you may be ordering on your car, the shape yeah. number, um, loads of different bits, stitching, um, all the faces are different. So it's really nice and customizable with a really nice, elegant uh, finish. So, kind of extending the personalization of the car into, onto your wrist, yeah. 
Absolutely. Perfect. Well, Joel, thank you very much. Thank you. So another new brand to Salon Privé. This is the Genesis GV80, the three litre diesel all wheel drive. Characterized by the distinctive two lines exterior design and the beauty of white space interior, this beautiful quilted leather. Tell us what's the difference about Genesis? Thank you. The, uh, the, the real difference um, and what's unique about Genesis is that we come to you. Um, so whether that's arranging your first uh, test drive, delivery of your car, or in fact servicing, so we actually come to you. And that's all organized by uh, your own Genesis um, personal assistant. So uh, it's, it's really quite special. And you've got cars here available for test drive in the paddock outside, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. So please do come across and see us on the stand and we can arrange that test drive today for you. So combination, obviously, of amazing luxury and performance as well. Yeah, if it's, it's actually if you come and uh, see the car, you'll start to, to really appreciate the, the level of luxury inside the car. As you, as you can see from uh, inside the quilting leather, etc. Um, it really is uh, very special. But still take you to nearly 145 miles an hour. And Seven and a half to sixty. Is yeah, it? and in absolute comfort. Absolutely, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. And this is something very, very special, uh, and it's a great honour of mine to introduce Mr. Fabrizio Giugiaro. Um, anyone in the car industry will know the name Giugiaro. Fabrizio's father, Giorgetto. Um, these guys, you know, what they don't know about car design isn't worth knowing. This is the uh, this is the kangaroo. This car was last seen. It was built as a concept. I'll give the mic to Fabrizio in a moment. It was built as a concept. I last saw it myself in Geneva at the Geneva Motor Show, and then at the Ishe event in Saint Moritz on the ice. Fabrizio is a very, very, very warm welcome on behalf of Andrew Knight to Salon Privé. Thank you to all of you in this place where beauty is really the reality. Coming here with such a modern car, I'm a little bit uh, worried to show something that was made uh, recently and made uh, for a different purpose. It is an hyper SUV. It means a sports car mixed into a SUV. For that, uh, we have a several position of the, of the suspension. So the concept of this car, which is an electric, pure electric vehicle, is to ride everywhere without any limit. And it worked perfectly on the ice, didn't it? <laughs> yes, the first time I could drive this car was on the lake of St. Moritz. It was fantastic and we were a little bit worried because the day after must be shown to Geneva Auto Show in a stage, but I'm always brave with my concept car that I built by myself. Brilliant. Fabrizio, welcome to Salon Privé, as I say, and I'll, I'll leave you to get back to judging the Churchill Cup on the lawn. I have to do my duty now. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie a tutti. Grazie.
we all know what this is, ladies and gentlemen. Lamborghini with the Huracan STO. This is the, the track-minded car, lightweight carbon fiber, 0 to 60 in three seconds. Chris, a great friend. Chris has been with us now for the last six years here at Salon Privé at Blenheim Palace. Welcome, as always, to Salon Privé, mate. Thank you, David. Tell us, tell us what makes this, this one so special. Uh, yeah, this is a based on the Super Trofeo race car, uh, the aero is from the GT3, uh, the actual lap times they based on the GT3 race car from Daytona and with the Bridgestone race road tyre was just two seconds a lap slower around Daytona so with the aero uh, that they've put on this car it really is a stunning uh, race car for the road, Super Trofeo Monogata. So yeah, the car is absolutely amazing. You, we were talking yesterday, Lamborghini are having an amazing time at the moment, aren't they? You can't build cars fast enough. We are, yeah, we're uh, we're well into next year on, on Eurus, we're September delivery for next year. Yeah. Um, Evo, we're into now May, June. Uh, so yeah, we're having a very, very good time. Brilliant, brilliant. All right, well, listen, Chris, thank you very much. See thank you back you as always. Stand. Take care, mate. From Denmark, the Zenvo. We've all, everyone's seen the Zenvo. This has been a, thanks to this lady in the uh, in the driving seat, Hannah. This has been all over the press. This car. This is, as I say, the TS1 GT. Hannah, I'll leave you to tell everyone a bit bit more about it. Is it turned on? Is it turned on? Yes, it is. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, as David said, this is our Danish hypercar. It's a TS1 GT. Um, we've got two cars here, TSRS and TS1 GT. Um, kind of what I think stands out about these cars is the carbon fibre. Um, it's, everything's done in-house. Both the cars have the same engines, the same chassis, and then what sets them apart is they're both road-going, uh, production-wise. One's more track-focused, and this is, you shouldn't have favourites, but this is my favourite. Um, it's the TS1 GT with a synchro box. Um, so both of them have still got um, comfortably over a thousand brake horsepower, which is yeah quite a lot for just trundling around Blenheim. And the the other model on the stand, that's the TSRS one. That's the TSRS, yeah. In, I always get my edges and my eyes are wrong. more. Don't know if that's my Danish is very good, but yeah. <laughs> and that's got this incredible adjustable rear wing, hasn't it? Yeah, and that's our patented centripetal wing. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Brilliant. Pushka, I see you there in the passenger seat as well. Cheers, guys. And now again, something very, very special. The Zenvo was from Denmark, the Hispano Suiza from, from Spain. We have so many international brands here as always this year. This is the beautiful, beautiful Hispano Suiza Carmen. Um, I don't know how many of you know much about Hispano Suiza, but the company dates back to 1904. It's still owned, it's still under the same ownership, the same family. Uh, this car takes its, its DNA its styling from those original cars. Um, Philippe, tell me a little bit, if you can, about the, uh, about the car, please. Yes, uh, good morning everyone. This is a full electric car. Uh, this unit, this is the prototype, that is the number one. We have three more buildings. Uh, and this unit concretely is have 1,100 horsepower. And it can go up to 2,000 horsepower with four and four wheel drive wow. on this car. So it's adjustable? Yes, so uh, it cannot be probably the faster electric hypercar in the world. So this is beautiful GT, classic comfort, and incredible performance. Totally. Uh, so we uh, managed to get the design like uh, it was back in 1930. Yeah. So we have the other special car in that time. And so we rebirthed the brand to the 21st century with electric 
uh, power. Fantastic. And I forgot to tell everybody, this is the first time the car has been seen in the UK, isn't it? Totally. It's, uh, it's the first time ever we come here. Yeah. And we wish to come many times after more. And I hope to have you here many times as well. Thank you very much. For Thank you very much to you. Thank you. Crazy speed to incredible comfort. The Rolls Royce Ghost, this is a very special colour. This is what they call Salmanca Blue. And to tell you a little bit more about the Ghost, Andy, I'll leave it to you. Get your own mic today. Wonderful. Well, first of all, thank you for creating a fabulous event once again and allowing Rolls Royce motor cars to return to your garden. Pleasure. So here we have the new Rolls Royce Ghost. It's our most technologically advanced Rolls Royce to date. Incredibly dynamic, all wheel drive, twin turbo V12. I won't go into the details, but it's a wonderful place to be. Um, we can invite you to our stand and we are operating some test drives today if you care to have a drive in a new Rolls-Royce motor car. I mean, what, what are the cars that are being tested outside? What models? We have the whole family actually. We have um, obviously the new Ghost, we have Wraith, we have Dawn and of course our most successful model at the moment, the Cullinan. Wow. So um, please come and join. We are based just over the back and we'd be happy to host you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your time. Have a lovely day. You too. needs little introduction however as my cue card has disappeared I'll introduce you to Adrian this is the port of Vina M which stand, the M standing for modificato I think Adrian yeah Yes, that's correct. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, so the uh, Portofino M is the, the very latest in a, a bloodline of 2 plus 2 V8 convertibles uh, that began with the California back in 2008. Uh, this car has undergone uh, a raft of dynamic changes, uh, which has moved it from a class-leading GT uh, to a car that's even more sporty and even more fun to drive. Uh, still powered by the same V8 twin turbocharged engine, uh, but now with an 8-speed DCT gearbox which gives you better performance and better fuel economy. Rear silencers have now been removed uh, which gives an improved exhaust note and also uh, enables the rear of the car to be uh, a much more sculpted design uh, and also now a five position Manatino setting which gives just a, a greater range of, of, of driving driver settings and options now. And you're, you're offering test drives aren't you? We are indeed. Uh, so we've got both uh, our Portofino M demonstrator here, we've got our Roma demonstrator here. Uh, so please pop along to the stand. We've got a couple of slots free this afternoon um, okay. for, for clients who might have an interest in those two cars. Also got SF90 uh, Stradale on the stand, which is Ferrari's latest and first plug-in hybrid V8. Um, we've got the 812 GTS. Uh, and then a, a very special uh, F50 that we're just bringing to market. Um, so please do come and have a, look, have a look at that. That's a special car. Ferrari is always a, a, makes a massive impact at Salon Prive. I mean, I think this year more than ever, uh, you know, with two, not one, but two of the Holy Grail GTOs here as well. It's incredible, isn't it? Oh, there's, there's, uh, there's just such an amazing selection of cars here, and we're, we're thrilled to be part. Yep, likewise. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you. again to Salon Privé to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the McLaren Elva, the ultra lightweight hypercar, open roof, comes in two variants with and without screen. Um, Paul is one of their official, very luckily one of their official drivers who gets to drive these, thing, these things all the time. 
to give you your own mic today, Paul, so you can tell us what it feels like. Yeah, you know, um, th this is the ultimate for me, you know, a real hark back to the original Elva, which was designed by Bruce McLaren himself in the 60s, um, and it's just phenomenal. It's the lightest, most powerful McLaren automotive car ever produced. Um, 815 brake horsepower, uh, 1,200 kilos, and it is mind-blowingly quick. To uh, naught to 125 miles an hour is just in just over six seconds. So it is, it's just mind-blowingly exciting. And we obviously produce two variants of this car, one famously without a windscreen, which, ha which has an active air management system, which puts a bubble of air over you. And this is the variation with the windscreen. Um, so yeah, it's hugely, uh, Happy to be here, especially in such an exciting car. And alongside Elva, you, some very other special models, aren't there, on the stand? The 765 LT Spider making its debut, I think, uh, yesterday. What else is there? Yeah, so we've got a great stand. Um, we've got the uh, 765 LT Spider. We've got all new Artura as well. We've got the Elva, and then we've got our GT as well. And we've got uh, the engine on display. We've got amazing coffee uh, as well. So feel free to come over to the stand to grab a coffee. And we are running test drives. So if anyone fancies a, a drive out in a 720 or a GT, be our guest. Take some of the cars out for the day and uh, with one of our pro drivers. And, and come and experience McLaren, because that's what it's all about. And um, yeah, they're just they're just phenomenal cars. I think I'll be there myself after lunch. Cheers, thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. So this, uh, the Alpine. Many of you will remember the. Uh, you'll know about the original Alpine, the 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 one three ten, the Monaco. Uh, the Monaco Rally winning car. This is the the, 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 the the latest, the homage, the A110. This is the newest, the, the Legend GT, the 2021 color edition. I'm going to pass the mic over to Chris here because you can explain to us all the different variants that, uh, that the LP A110 now is, is, is showing. Yeah, so we have uh, all of our variants on the stand today. Uh, we're just down in the bottom corner. Um, we have our pure, our Legend, uh, in the form of the Legend GT 2021. Uh, and we also have the S. Uh, the pure and the Legend are slightly more supple, uh, a bit more uh, dri uh, daily driver friendly, uh, whereas the S is a little bit more focused, a little bit more dynamic, uh, and a lot of fun if you intend to use it on the track as well. So we have all three of those for everyone to see on the stand. So this has got some serious power, hasn't it? I mean, 292 horsepower. It's a great performance. Uh, so it, it's very light. It's it's all aluminium, uh, aluminium monocoque chassis. All of the body panels are aluminium, uh, so it weighs only 1,100 kilos. Doesn't need much power, but that 300, 292 horsepower is more than enough to uh, to get you from not to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Rear wheel drive, so some good fun in the air. Yeah, really, the really great driving dynamics from the the vehicle. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now for, uh, from Italy, Luca, welcome again to Salon Freeway. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Chimera, the Chimera Automobili EV037, based on the original 037 Lancia Monte Carlo, um, rally, a uh, world championship winning rally car. I'm going to ask Luca to tell you exactly what this is about, what this car represents to them, and the, the passion and the emotion that has gone into building this latest version of this iconic car. Luca, welcome to Salon Privé. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, this car represents uh, uh, the best of 80s of Italy, because uh, uh, this car uh, is a symbol uh, of uh, a golden era for the Italian uh, uh, automotive manufacturer in rallying by the Martini Racing Team. Uh, it was a glorious, glorious years in which uh, uh, um, Lancia won a lot of t titles and have a real culture in that sport. So basically this car is uh, an evolution of that car in which uh, Chimera Automobili takes uh, the old uh, technician with the new technician and makes uh, this synthesis uh, by the past and the future. And, and basically this is, ba this is an homage, isn't it? This is the, the original styling. 
latest in uh, uh, the powertrain, 550 horsepower, I think. Yeah, correct. Uh, and exactly uh, as you said, uh, the style is uh, the same uh, of the past, but just with a little review of uh, uh, modernity and uh, modern materials uh, and modern process of building. So we have uh, a car that uh, fills with the original soul, but the new uh, performance and materials. And only 37 of them being built, so very exclusive. Yeah, very exclusive, and we already sold more than 20 cars, so I'm, we are very, very satisfied about the feedback of the media, of the people, and um, we're happy. Brilliant. Well, listen, welcome to Salon Privé. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. James, welcome to Salon Privé. Great to see Morgan back with us with the Plus 4 CXT. Tell us, what's the inspiration behind this latest model from Morgan? Um, so, Morgan has a long history of, of trialling uh, endurance and reliability trials um, in the early part of the century, um, which inspired our design team. And they were sketching you know, a, modern, a modern interpretation of that kind of car. Um, and when our CEO and our investors saw these on the walls of the design office, they, uh, yeah, they decided to build it. Uh, so just eight cars, so a very limited production run. Only eight? Only eight, and they're all sold. Wow. I said to uh, to Toby yesterday, I think Steve will probably put him in one of these and send him on the Dakar run or something. Yeah, that would be awesome. I mean, to see what kind of adventures people, our customers, will, will take these on, it will be uh, pretty cool to see. Brilliant. Well, listen, well, is, he's here today, I think, is he? or? Uh, in today I, I haven't seen him, but he might be coming later. I'll go and find him. Not sure. What else have you got on the stand today? What else are the other models there? Yeah, so we've got the Plus 4 and the Plus 6. So this CXT is obviously based on, on the Plus 4, which is our, our four-cylinder car. Um, and then its bigger brother, the Plus 6, is there as well. And you're also offering test drives, I think, aren't you, as well? Yeah, so we have those same cars um, out at the front of the house, on the road, available to test drive. Um, so if you come over to the stand, um, you'll be able to book in a drive of those cars. Brilliant. Listen, thanks ever so much. Welcome to Salon Privé again. Thank you. Thank you very much. From Aston Martin, the F1 edition Vantage. Paul, president of Aston Martin Works, loves the stage, got your own mic today. Tell us about this car and all of the others that are on, the, uh, on your display today. Thanks, David. I, I feel rather honoured to have my own microphone. You don't have to give me this. Um, it's probably a bit warmer in here than it is outside, to be honest. Um, this is the F1 edition uh, V8 Vantage, which is based on the safety car that we've all seen um, whizzing around the, the Formula 1 circuits this year. Um, it is literally a, a, a V8 Vantage with the volume turned up to maximum. I mean, we've retuned all the suspension, new wheels, new tyres. This car's on carbon ceramic brakes, aerodynamics package. It, it really is a amazing uh, bit of kit. I mean, I hate to say it's probably all the Aston Martin you ever need, to be honest. Although we have got the rest of the range here, so if anybody wants DBX or DBS or even DB11 Volante, we've also got those cars on display here on our stand. But uh, I absolutely love this car, and I think the guys in the engineering department have done a fantastic job. Beautiful, isn't it? There's another very special one on the on the display as well, isn't there? Yeah, we've also brought V12 Speedster here, um, which was a real honour for us to be able to get it here. It literally came off the plane straight here from Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach, to, yeah. Uh, you know, to have that here for people to have a look at as well. And that's only 88 cars being manufactured globally. And, um, yeah, that's another another pretty special car with the V12 twin turbo engine is as well. So, right. that's great cars here. I mean, you know, as you know, with, with Lauren Stroll taking over the business and Tobias Merz um, joining as CEO, um, Aston Martin really is going from strength to strength at the moment. And it's a, it's a privilege to be here and be part of the business. A lot of ambition and drive there in the business now, isn't there? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Really going places now. Brilliant. Listen, thanks ever so much. Thanks, David. Last but not least, and again from Italy, this uh, this is Touring Superleggera. Touring made uh, the world debut of this car yesterday. 
Uh, they made a world debut of uh, their car, the, two, the Aero, Aero 3, last year. Um, this is the Ares RH95. It's 95 years that the business, the company's been in business. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the head of design, Louis de Fabrebeckers, but I'm not going to give you too much time, Louis, because everybody wants to get to lunch. This is the guy behind the design. Louis, tell everybody, summarize it for them. Where did the car come from? Thank you very much. I, I will be fast. Well, um, <laughs> this is our um, commemoration car because we... Um, we celebrate this year our 95th anniversary, 95th anniversary of Touring Superleggera, Italian coach builder. The project was inspired by these uh, small, funny race car from uh, Italian race car from the 50s, racing in the south of Italy, sunny Sicily, like uh, Targa Florio and uh, and other races like that. So the general shape is extremely smooth but there is some element which makes the car extremely dynamic, like the chrome profile, aluminum profile on, uh, on the side. The car is part of um, a design strategy, which is our aero lineup with the Disco Valente, 2013 Disco Valente, with the uh, Aero 3, which was presented also as a world premiere here at Salon Privé last year. And the third one here, very proud to present it the Arese RH95. It's not a one-off, it's a limited production, few off, so we will do maximum 18 cars. And uh, in front of you, this is a very, very first uh, car. They are built only on commission. So the lucky owner of this one uh, is, uh, is extremely proud indeed to present his car here. Thank you, Louis. I'm gonna give you the award later on for bad dad dancing from last night as well. Worst dancing ever. <laughs> Thank you, Louis. There are other brands on the lawn as well today um, that actually aren't coming up here. They're not presenting, but just so that you know who's here, we have Audi with their e-tron range um, over in the corner, the RS e-tron GT. We have SVO here with the uh, with the world debut of the SVR Ultimate. They're the fastest 575 brake horsepower um, Range Rover Sport Ultimate. We have BAC here for the first time with the Mono R. We have Bugatti here with the Chiron Supersport. Another uh, debut from the other day, Automobile Estrema with the Fulminia from, uh, from Italy. And we also have old, uh, Auto Automobile Pinaferina here with the Batista as well. The Anniversario which came from Pebble Beach as well. Um, so those are all the cars, ladies and gentlemen, we have for you. Uh, don't forget to have a look at all of the luxury brands. Have a look at Salon Privé Time as well, our new luxury watch fair, where you will find several of the brands from Richemont, including IWC, Vacheron Constantin, Roger Dubuis, who many of you will know have a, a strategic partnership with Lamborghini, uh, Panerai are here, Piaget, Mont Blanc, and also then other brands, uh, Jacob & Co from New York, 